Back at the miniature Schnauzer house, the first signs of spring have sprung. And so have the first signs of the pup's signature beards. At three weeks old, Spunky Otto is revved up and ready to play. Unfortunately, his siblings still aren't quite as eager as he is. And when he tries to play with them, they're a bit taken aback. If only he could find someone more his speed. Today, Farrah's back to check out the pups. But by the time she gets there, she finds a pretty sleepy scene. So Farrah tries to wake things up a bit. And it finally works. At least on Otto. For the first time, the pup sees the weasel. And she's a lot more interesting than his sleepy siblings. The only trouble is she's a little too fast for his little pup paws. Farrah the ferret has been curious about the schnauzer pups since she first laid eyes on the sleepy pile. But at five weeks, the pile is not so sleepy anymore. And as much as she'd like a playmate, five times that might be five times too many. To burn off some of that energy, Mom Rosie invites the pups outside. But Spunky Otto has another idea. To find Farrah, who seems to disappear every time he turns around. While his brothers and sisters play ring around Mom Rosie, Otto looks for Farrah. So far, there's no sign of her. But just when he's ready to give up, the weasel pops out. Otto is mesmerized by absolutely everything she does. And she sure can do a lot. But as soon as he tries to play along with her, she slips away again. Otto was bred to chase critters like this, but as much as it's his instinct to follow Farah, it's hers to stay one step ahead. If only these two playful creatures could find some way to meet in the middle. At seven weeks, Rosie's miniature schnauzers satisfy their terrier instincts by chasing each other around the yard. Except for Otto, who'd rather be inside. <laughs> <laughs> 
because he knows that's where the real fun is. Farrah's pretty excited to have the whole place to herself. She's having so much fun that she doesn't hear the pups coming back inside. And for the first time, all five pups see Farrah. The fast-footed ferret stays one step ahead of them. But Otto has been chasing her for a while. And he's beginning to realize that they may never catch up with her this way. So he tries something new. And lets Farah come to him. The miniature schnauzers aren't quite as mini anymore. At nine weeks, they're ready for a schnauzer rite of passage. Their first haircut. Mom Rosie is a regular here, because you don't just grow facial hair like this on a whim. It takes some serious maintenance. Spunky Otto goes next. And with a little clip here, and a little buzz there, his signature schnauzer, brows and beard are born. Soon a whole litter of fluffy pups seems to transform into young miniature schnauzers. But they do more than just beards here. Farah has come along for a little fluffing of her coat. And a quick manicure. Back home, everyone's feeling fresh, clean, and ready for action. But the pup still can't figure out how to play with Farah. Until Otto shows them that they need to stop chasing and let her come to them. And at last, against all odds, the pups and the weasel find a way to play together. <laughs> 